Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent dual type C enclosure for NVMe SSDs. Now the difference between this product and this guy right here that I unboxed in a previous video is that this is an external tool-free enclosure for NVMe drives so that basically you can take two of whatever capacity drives and throw them into one external rugged enclosure. This, on the other hand, is less expensive. I believe it retails for $120, also brand new uh, from Sabrent for 2021. But this is all about offline cloning capability. So not only can you throw two NVMe drives in here and basically make them hot swappable, which is very cool, but you can also do any form of cloning you desire without a PC. So this provides a similar but uniquely different uh, capability than the rugged dual tool free enclosure that I shared previously. Uh, and I think that there's a market for both of them. And again, this is brand new for 2021. You can see basically the illustration there of what you're about to see. Uh, it does have type C and type A uh, compatibility. This is not a Thunderbolt 3 driven enclosure though. So keep that in mind. There's a transparency of what uh, is inside. There is an active fan in there for cooling. Uh, so very different. I feel like clearly designed for cloning. And if that's something you want, then this is probably going to be ideal. I will include a link in the description and I absolutely will be testing this out to see how it performs. In fact, part of uh, what I'm trying to do right now, and this was perfect, you know, Sabre sent this over for review, which is perfect timing, is I want to clone my present uh, main NVMe drive from my desktop to a larger, a four terabyte NVMe, and this is going to give me that ability. So all aluminum build, you can see the open arrow right there. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Ventilation all around. We have a type C port, uh, and then next to that, we have our DC input and a power button and an LED indicator for functionality. And then on the top, move this to the side, we have all of the LEDs that you need. So A and B, again, referring to uh, which drive you're respectively working on. And then they actually give you percentages for cloning. So clearly this is designed to clone drives specifically, whereas again, this is uh, designed to be a dual drive external enclosure, uh, not designed for cloning. That's not to say that you can't clone using this, but the beauty of this drive is that it can clone again, offline. It does not need a PC. So with a simple press of a button, it will give you 25, 50, 75, and 100% stages of cloning those NVMe drives that you've dropped in. So to open this up, it looks like we just pull this. It doesn't look like there's anything else to it. And wow, yeah, very easy. Uh, looks very simple to drop in the drives. Uh, that's not a demo that I'm necessarily going to be doing right here, right now. Eh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just drop them in uh, just so you can see what it looks like. But I like that it's got active cooling with the fans. Make sure I remember to keep that in its correct orientation. Um, and let's just see what we got here. I'm probably going to save the actual cloning demo for another uh, video when I actually clone uh, my drive that I was just talking about. Uh, and so we've got a Type-C cable. Uh, I believe this is a 3.2. It may be a 3.1. Let me just check on the packaging here. Uh, I'm just going to dump out all the accessories. And, you know, Sabrin just does a good job. What can I tell you? Um, their products deliver on what they should. Um, they're partnered closely with Intel. All their Thunderbolt 3 products are licensed directly by Intel. This is something I like to mention because a lot of manufacturers out there will claim they're Thunderbolt 3 and they're not. Sabrin is completely above board. Uh, and make solid products. Um, in terms of the inventory, so we have, of course, the dual NVMe docking station, which is what we should really call this, a docking and cloning station. And then it is a Type-C uh, to Type-C, so I believe that is a 3.1, and uh, that's what it looks like, 10 gigabits per second. And then we've got a Type-C to Type-A, and of course, that is right here, the Type-C to Type-A and the actual uh, DC adapter right here. So again, it would be as simple, I'm gonna go into this just because I've got the drives in here and uh, 
it's the quickest access I have to NVMEs, but the actual demo I'll save for another day. Um, this is a great, I love this thing already, I can tell you. I mean, this is not for everyone, uh, but if you are looking for mass storage, if you wanna be able to have eight or 16 terabytes or 10 terabytes, I don't know of any five uh, terabyte drives, so that's not correct, but eight or 16, that's where you would top out. Um, this is the way to do it. And when you think about um, having, I mean, you can do it with this also, don't get me wrong, and this has more capability, but it doesn't support Thunderbolt 3, and it isn't really, I mean, it can be mobile, but when you think about that either of these can support 16 terabytes of capacity and what an external 16 terabyte traditional mechanical drive looks like, you quickly realize the appeal of drives like these or enclosures like these. So just pop that out, pop that out. Both drives are able now to be removed and go ahead and pop those out and just go ahead and pop these in. There are included screws, I'm assuming. I do not see them, but they've got to be here. And so basically that's it. And now we just need to screw these guys down. There are the two, uh, they're not screws. Remember this is tool free. I called them screws, but they're using the same system uh, that we have with the other rugged enclosure that I shared in another video. So these rubber, uh, nubs, if you will, just slot right in. So this is going to be a very similar process to what I went through uh, with the rugged. So you're just going to make sure that you slot these guys into the top. And I only know this already, whoop, as I lost one of them, I only know this already because I went through it already with the other drive. So let's see if I can get this in. Uh, that was a, a little bit more difficult because it was my first time doing it, but here it shouldn't be too bad. So you can see I've got one in there. This actually looks like the design is going to be easier to work with, like they're just going to pop right in because there's more headroom. Uh, with the other drive, you don't have that headroom, so it's not as easy. And so I should be able to just press these down. Let's see. It should be that simple. And yeah, wow, yeah, this is um, significantly easier. Uh, than the other. And they're giving you two different sizes uh, because depending on the size of your NVMe drive, that is what will determine, you know, whether or not it's going to fit. But that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Um, any questions or comments? Again, I will update you with a real cloning video, but this was just a demo and unboxing. Please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and uh, please stay safe. Later.